How are you feeling, Christian? Um. How are you doing, Zach? It's early. It's time to get a move on. So these guys just decided to wander through camp. Apparently they're not afraid of anybody. So it looks like two does and a fawn. This must be a good spot to come down and uh, pig out. Two does, two fawns. And there they go off Kolob Canyon, or Kolob Creek. So it's about 8 a.m. Utah time, 7 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we're just getting ready to go. You ready, dude? Yeah. Six miles today. He Six miles seven. and we're out. So we've been hiking about a uh, half hour this morning. And uh, the sun's just starting to hit the top some of these canyons. Um, it's nice temperature down here to walk and uh, everyone's doing our best to keep up here. How you feeling Christian? Good. We're gonna head up uh, <clears throat> this trail here and uh, it's kind of difficult to walk on the boulders but that's where the river's gone. Okay, so uh, one hour in this morning. It's been kind of up and down. It's, it's warming up quite a bit. Um, the river's humid and I'm sweating. It's a lot to carry a pack. It'd be nice to get in some deeper pools and uh, swim for a bit. So it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> Christian's hanging in that really beautiful uh, view of the, the canyon here. I'll turn you around so you can see it. Uh, just incredible with the deadfall and the large rocks that are, have made their way out into the middle of the, the stream path. Um, really unsurpassed beauty out here. Something you just, you can't get staying in the city. Anyhow, beautiful. Okay, so we made it to Big Springs. Big Springs is, uh, for the day hikers, it started at the bottom. This is as far up as you can go. Uh, for an expert hiker or somebody who can really keep pace, uh, Big Springs is only about four hours and 20 minutes from the bottom. Uh, we'll see how long it takes us to get down uh, with some tired boys and uh, tired legs and backs. Um, so we're gonna rest here for a minute. We're gonna wait for the rest of our group to kind of show up, but uh, Big Springs, you can see, it's a uh, big natural spring that spills out into the river. Great spot to refill waters and uh, just cool off for a bit. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So this is probably what a lot of people think of when they think of the Narrows, this uh, waist-deep wading through uh, Walla Walla River. Um, it's as cool as you think it is. It's as fun as you think it is. Uh, just feel bad that you're not here with us. How you doing, Feast? Good. Yeah? Tired? Almost broke this Yeah, I've got a, uh, 
they call these sacrificial poles. Um, that one's bent. It's not going to make it the whole time, but we'll figure it out. So this is one of the funner spots here. You uh, at the two boulders here. Coming down, there's a spot you uh, jump off, and you got about a 40, 50 yard swim to get over here. So, uh, and then it's back to the trail. Happy that everything is still dry. Uh, at least the camera's still dry. Everything else got wet uh, when we jumped in, but man, it feels good. It's 55 degree water, but uh, when you're sweating, uh, it's refreshing. Great views uh, coming down here from the cliffs as they climb away from us. Uh, you know, really the beauty is, is unmatched in this canyon. So how you feeling, Zach? Pretty frosty, huh? <laughs> yeah, you tried to fix your strap right when you jumped in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were like, "What am I trying to undo it?" I didn't want to come up and choke me. <laughs> That's the way you do it. So this is the middle of Wall Street, as it's called. Uh, very little high ground, really. It's just uh, walking the river from here um, until we get pretty close to the Temple of Sinawaba, which is the end of the, the route. And uh, right now, it's about 11.15. We've uh, about four hours, 15 minutes this, today worth of hiking. So we'll see how many we take total. So we stopped for lunch here at Wall Street. Um, nice little spot. It's about two, two and a half hours, I think, from the end. Um, 
kind of re refueling while we're up here. Christian and I brought, brought this, uh, one of these things of uh, peanut butter and jam together. We ate the whole thing. Uh, we were kind of hungry. So anyway, feeling better, dude? Yes. Josh ate all his food before we got here, so we're hoping his dad gets here with food. We'll see. close to the end uh, and the temple of Sinawaba and we'll, we'll get to that probably within the next couple minutes. Just ran into a guy that uh, probably has a problem that's pretty common out here where it's hot. It's about 104 down the valley and he had passed out from heat exhaustion. Uh, a lot of people come here from different countries and aren't used to the heat and aren't used to the exertion and he went down. So uh, tried to help him out. And uh, hopefully he's all right. We'll tell the rangers when we get down. So this is the end of our trip. Uh, we're just about to the parking lot here. We got through the last mile on the pavement, which wasn't uh, wasn't too easy. It feels kind of weird once you start getting a ton of people at the bottom of the canyon. You spent you spent two days by yourselves walking this uh, this yeah. uh, beautiful landscape, and then you get a bunch of people in there, and it feels kind of like they're intruding. Um, and then to walk this path and to see all the people that uh, scurry to get pictures of chipmunks. Yeah. They're weird. big fat squirrels. Yeah, that's what they are. So anyway, um, that's it from here. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>